How to Help Paranoid People People who are paranoid often suffer from delusions and sometimes from mental health disorders that need treatment right away. Still, it's important to listen to what they are saying and separate legitimate concerns from outright fantasies, all while staying calm and reassuring the other person. Helping paranoid people is often a balancing act between two things, not treating them like a weird person but getting them the proper help they need. 1. Help the paranoid person stay calm and not to live in a series of panics. People who experience this kind of situation you under stress but are still connected to reality and real events, if this is not psychosis, need to be able to assure themselves that it will pass, and that change is possible. Positive thinking may help. 2. Do not diagnose or treat any psychological or mental issues without help from mental health professionals. The kind of paranoia discussed here is not the similarly named mental illness but a kind of chronic anxiety and fearfulness. Seeking professional help if needed. 1. Help your family member or friend in seeking a diagnosis and advice from a psychologist, psychotherapist, a clinical social worker or a psychiatrist trained in dealing with emotional and mental health. Such a professional, who has training and experience in these matters, might lead the sufferer through some steps necessary to find the source of the delusional thinking and fears. They may advise other ways of coping or about seeking psychiatric or medical intervention in more difficult experiences. 2. Realize that if self-control is not possible or is very erratic then the person may not be able to improve without some form of medication for limiting stress. Psychiatrists are medical doctors and so they may prescribe medications. Psychologists are not medical doctors and do not prescribe medication, but can refer you to the psychiatrists who do. Psychiatric social workers and other masters, and in some cases doctorate level trained and licensed counseling professionals also do not prescribe medications but practice psychotherapy suspicious has unfounded suspicions expectation that they will be exploited unreasonably believes others are plotting against him her self-image is easily slighted detachment reluctant to confide in others preoccupied with unsupported doubts about friends or associates Baseless fear that information may be used against him, her. Baseless fear of the sexual infidelity of a spouse or significant other. Distrustful, groundless concern that other people have hidden motives. Reads negative meanings into innocuous remarks. Social isolation, perceives attacks on his, her reputation that are not clear to others. Uncooperative inability to work together with others. Hostility, makes accusations about otherwise minor events. Is triggered quickly to verbal counterattack based on such perceptions. Harbors insults, bears grudges. Complications, possible. Extreme social isolation. Potential for violence. Being, without real cause, argumentative and defensive. Having trouble seeing, and dealing with, one's own problems opportunities. Having trouble relaxing, largely self-stressed. Find possible diagnoses. Undergo a thorough physical examination and patient history to rule out possible organic causes, such as dementia, or environmental causes, such as extreme stress, in patients with paranoid symptoms. If a psychological cause is suspected, a psychologist will conduct an interview with the patient and may administer one of several clinical inventories, or tests, to evaluate mental status. Seek treatment. Paranoia that is symptomatic of paranoid schizophrenia, persecutory delusional disorder, or paranoid personality disorder need to be diagnosed by a mental health professional. Self-help. Help the person to think positively. Running positive phrases and sentences through one's mind may help. Encourage the person to not blame others for any problems. There's no use in it. One may stop negative thoughts and can distress by thinking about something less stressful, cultivating, inculcating thoughts that are agreeing with and praising others, or kind and accepting of others.
point out that one may choose to forgive and not be angry for more than a few minutes or hours. Help your friend to avoid anger, to not seek unfounded revenge. Expect one to change one's own self-talk or thinking and then that will help to change the way of reacting to perceptions. Guide yourself to purposefully stash more good thoughts in one's mind every day. Encourage thinking about oneself reaching for sure success. Purposefully try to adopt new thoughts. Immediately begin repeating positive sayings, mostly to yourself, when you first notice that you're beginning to hear people talking negatively.